Hey everybody, Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Answering a question today uh, from Sharad. Sharad had sent a message, he actually left a comment in one of the blog posts right on the primalatc.com website. And Sharad says, hi, I'm a shot putter. I use the glide technique. What is the best exercise for explosive power, especially in our hands and upper body? Thanks. Well, those of you who have followed the blog for a while, those of you who have kind of read a little bit about me, know that I am a big overhead press fan. I love the overhead press. At one point in college, I think my max bench was like 315 and my max overhead was like 265, 275. I could put up almost as much overhead as I could put up on the, just a regular flat bench press. I love clean and press. It's something I grew up doing. Luckily, I had some great coaches in high school that really ingrained that into my head, that the clean and press and the Olympic lifting movements were the way to go to produce power. So what I'm gonna to show today, now Sherrod was looking specifically for something with the upper body to create that explosiveness. I'm going to show you two variations of Olympic lifting techniques that you can do with dumbbells that are still going to give you that nice explosiveness, that nice pop with your entire body, but it's going to, I guess, rely on or emphasize a little bit more upper body strength, upper body explosion. It's the clean and press, one-handed with a dumbbell, and a snatch, one-handed with a dumbbell. Now here's the thing. When developing explosiveness, you want to look at taking a medium weight, somewhat heavy weight, and moving that as quickly as you possibly can. So you're not going to get a super heavy weight and try to grind through this movement and try to really explode and really get crazy with this movement. What you want to do is take a medium weight, something that's about you know 65, 75% of the big heavy weight that you really want to use and move that as quickly and as explosively as possible. To put it in better terms, if you throw a shot put and the shot put weighs 16 pounds, or the shot put weighs 12 pounds, or 5 kilo, or 6 kilo, wherever you come from, if it's anywhere from 5 kilo all the way up to 16 pound, and you're worried about moving an 80 pound dumbbell slow, it's not going to translate well into the circle. You want to take a look at moving a somewhat heavy weight. So if I can do an 80, uh, pound dumbbell clean and press two or three times, I'm probably going to be looking at like a 50 or a 55 pound dumbbell and doing that for my clean and presses and for my snatches because I can move that weight really quickly, but it's still a lot heavier than the shot put I'm going to use when I get in the circle. So let's get into this. Let me grab a 55 pound dumbbell. What I'm going to do is show you first the clean and press from the front, and then the clean and press from the side. And then we're going to show you the snatch from the front and the snatch from the side. Now the clean and press, it's two movements. You're going to dip and explode, and you're going to dip and press. And we'll show you one time from the front, one time from the side, I'll give you some cues that you should be looking for as you do this. So we're going to dip down to the knees and explode. Then we're going to dip again with the knees and explode overhead. Okay, let me show you from the side. We're going to dip and explode. Then we're going to dip and explode. So what we're looking for, we're only dipping down so that the dumbbell is just a little bit below your knees. There's a reason for this. When you're in the circle, when you're doing the glide technique and you're exploding out of the back, you're landing in that power position, you're never in a full deep squat. Okay? You're only in about a quarter squat, and you're exploding out of that quarter squat. For that reason, we're dipping down to about a quarter squat, and we're exploding up from that quarter squat the same way that you will when you're in the power position. The other thing we're looking for is triple extension. We want to see when you explode, you're up on the toes, meaning your ankles are extended. Your legs are fully locked out, meaning that your knees are all the way extended, and the hips are up, the butt is squeezed, and you are letting that, that dumbbell follow through with your arm. 
just like you would do in a circle. You're going to extend the ankle, extend the knee, extend the hip, and squeeze your butt. Very similar movement to the one-arm dumbbell clean. But then there's a secondary portion of that, which is the explosiveness with the upper body. So you're going to dip again, about, down, down to about a quarter squat, just like you would if you were doing uh, the coming out of the power position in the shot put or the discus. Dip down to a quarter squat, and you're going to explode up. You're going to push through that dumbbell, push it right up to the sky, just like you're throwing it overhead. And again, translates very well in, in, into the circle. You're exploding with the legs and letting that upper body follow through as quickly as you possibly can with a lot of force, as much force as you can put into it. So those are the things that you need to look for. The other thing, you want to stay tight to your body. You don't, I don't want to see the dumbbell coming out here or the elbow flying out. You're going to lead with that elbow and stay tight to the body. As you press, you're going to dip, stay tight to the body, and push straight up overhead. You're not going to let the dumbbell come flying out here. You're not going to turn away from it. Just like with the shot, the weight's in close to your neck, the dumbbell's in close to your neck, and you're going to push. Again, very specific to the same type of movement that you'll do when you're in the circle. Now, the second part of this is the dumbbell snatch. And the dumbbell snatch looks like this. Very similar to the clean. We're going to get that triple extension, ankles, knees, and hips. We're going to lead with that elbow into a high pull, and we're just going to follow through and let that dumbbell come right up overhead. You're going to punch through it at the top, let the dumbbell come overhead. We'll show you again from the front and then from the side. Pick up 55 dumbbell, pound dumbbell. We're going to dip and explode all in one movement. Lead with the elbow, keep it close to the body, and end up with the dumbbell overhead. So we're going to dip and explode. Straight up overhead. Down, down, we do it again. Dip, explode, down, down. Show you from the side. Let me show you from this side. Dip and explode. Down, down, triple extension with the legs, explode overhead, explode, down, down. So again, very similar mechanics to what you do with the clean and press. Instead, we're going one motion, we're leading with the elbow, letting that dumbbell follow through overhead. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Please make sure you continue to follow Primal ATC on YouTube and on our website, primalatc.com. Keep asking your questions. I answer five questions a week, so if you have a good one, I'll get it taken care of right here on the website. Thanks.